This is our new track. We've been waiting a long time for this thing to be finished. But even though it's done now, we can't compete on it. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Running for me started back when I was about six years old. Dryden Rec did a track program every year for younger kids. They taught us to hurdle, run relays, and all of the field events. When I was about 11, me and some friends had gotten into running 5Ks. I loved running these races. Every time I ran, I was getting faster and faster. I soon fell in love with the feeling of crossing the finish line with a new PR. I was hooked. A few years later, I was able to join my school's indoor track team. I was in seventh grade at the time, so I had to take the fitness test to join the varsity team. I managed to pass the test and I joined the team. I was instantly welcomed since my older sister had been a part of the team for a year. Track to me isn't just a sport, it's where I met most of my friends and I enjoyed the competition. And when I was younger, I didn't think that I could find a sport that would work for me. I tried a lot, and once I found track and modified, um, it really changed everything, and I it was one of the first sports that I really, really enjoyed. My thoughts or views of you as a runner, you're really competitive, and you're also a great teammate, and um, I admire the way that you, know, you compete and hold yourself as a track athlete. What was it like being on the same team as me? It was a lot of fun. I was nervous for you when you first started out in seventh grade because you were so small and I was worried about you competing against the um, older boys in your events, but you held your own and you proved that you deserved to be there. Um, and once we got older and I got to watch you grow as an athlete, um, it was really exciting. Growing up in a track family, um, we always ran 5Ks when we were younger before we could do modified track and those were always a lot of fun and we liked to compete and it was a whole family thing so it brought us closer together and once we started um, actually competing at the school level, our parents and the rest of our family was always there to support us so I think it's just a really important part of our family. A large part of my running is my coaches. Coach Suttle and Coach Weaver are the best in the business and they know what to do for their athletes. I asked Coach Suttle when he first started coaching and he told me it was November 1988. He coached JV basketball. Starting in 1990, he started coaching mod football and in 1991, track and field. He has over 300 dual meet victories, 38 championships, 14 of those being sectional titles. He has also coached six state champions. I asked him what it was like being my coach as he has been my coach since seventh grade. He said, it has been a pleasure to see your growth from a scrawny little kid to a bigger, faster, stronger athlete. I will truly miss coaching you and the other juniors for your senior year. After almost 30 years of coaching track and field, Mr. Suttle has now decided to retire and move to Florida. I asked him about his thoughts on retirement. He told me, I am looking forward to it, but I will miss coaching a lot. I am looking forward to getting myself in wicked shape as I can work out in the sunshine most every day in Florida. I wish Coach Suttle the best of luck in retirement, and I'm going to miss him my senior year. I also got the chance to talk with Coach Weaver a bit. I started coaching back in 1992 over in Lansing for three years, and then from there I went to Cander um, because I got a teaching job and I had cross country but I also had the track team for two years mm -hmm. so altogether I've been coaching track and field for 26 years wow. 21 mom. 21 years in Dryden coaching I mean I love kids obviously I'm a teacher and I love my position because I teach elementary kids which that's where I want to be for PE and then it's I've got the best of both worlds because then I come to the high school and get to coach the older kids and athletes want to be on teams mm -hmm. so you have the best of the best and I loved my experience with all my sports that I did and I just want to convey to the children or the athletes what uh, I you know, had and I hope I can besides teaching them about track and field but to teach them some life lessons along the way too. Um, but for you and Allison that I, what I saw that I really haven't seen in other siblings that I have coached that you two really care 
about each other. Through the bad, good, and ugly, you are always there for each other, which is, it was really nice to see, because other siblings, they were more about, mm, like, I want to beat you, or uh, they're having a bad day, oh, let them have a bad day, but I felt like you two were definitely, like, very caring for each other, so that was really nice to see. Seventh and eighth grade year weren't anything special, but ninth grade is where everything started to take shape. I managed to take second place at IACs with my 4x8 relay team. We then continued on to take first at sectionals. Sophomore year was my favorite of them all. That outdoor season was my best season yet. I managed to win three races at IACs and three at sectionals. I was also named IEC MVP on the track. I like to think that all my success from 10th grade year comes from the fact that we didn't have a track. During this time, our track was being renovated and we were forced to use other methods of training, a lot of which contained running on our Jim Shug Trail, which was the local trail. Now, junior year was shaping up to be a pretty good running season for me. During indoor, I managed to make it to states with my 4x2 relay team, and that was a blast. But moving into the outdoor season, we only had one week of practices. This is due to the coronavirus outbreak. This had forced all schools to shut down and we couldn't continue with our track season anymore. We were all just hoping for a better outcome for our senior year. Mm -hmm.